Hello everyone, I'm Mark Gaberti, the teenager and entrepreneur, author of How to Be Successful on Twitter, and today I'm going to talk about the preparation process of a good interview, because in order to host a successful interview, you need to be prepared. You don't want to stare at the person, black out, blank out, and then not have any questions for that person, then it just ends up being a bad interview because if you're doing a Google Plus Hangout interview that interview goes up on your YouTube channel and the, it automatically gets posted from a Google from Google Plus so you don't want the interview to end up bad and the best way to avoid that and have a successful interview is by being prepared for your interview this is what I do for all of my interviews I have notes, basically the notes are who is the person, this gives them like the little intro, maybe like I talk about their product or I talk about what the person has been able to accomplish, and then I go into questions. Question one, question two, question three, question four, and then question five. I try to have at least five questions for all of my interviews because if someone answers the question in like a minute and then the interview only takes five minutes I don't like having those kinds of interviews but there are some interviews that only go for five minutes because the person who is hosting the interview decides I want to have it all summarized so that people watch the entire video while people who do the longer interviews like I do think I want to have a longer video I am aware that not everyone is gonna watch the whole video but the video goes in depth about who the person is and what the person does. And going back to this, the last thing I have is basically the conclusion. The conclusion states, again, who the person is, thanks the person for being a guest, and by doing that, you make the person want to come back and do a second interview with you because the advantage of having someone come back and do an interview with you is that when they come back for a second time, there are going to be people who they only see the second one and they're wondering, where's the first one? And that's when they look at your YouTube channel, they find the first interview, they watch it, and then they watch your other videos as well. So it's very important to be prepared for the interview so that it ends very well for you. And that is all for today. I hope this video has served you, and I want you to dream big, achieve greatness, and lock your potential today.